Pass Robles officials are looking to relieve traffic congestion on Niblick Road. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola has information on some changes that could be on the horizon. Those who live off Niblick Road say it's a traffic nightmare, specifically in the morning before work and in mid-afternoon when school is out. Now the city agrees and it's turning its sights on some possible solutions. This is one of our most used east-west arterials along the south side of town, so it's a very busy road. Niblick Road gets a lot of use. It's one of four main roads in the city. It's home to Paso Robles High School and some shopping centers. Residents that live off of Niblick say it's the busiest in the morning and mid-afternoon. It's pretty horrendous to try to get to the freeway at that time. It's basically a gridlock from right here at Country Club Drive all the way to the freeway pretty much, which is, gosh, what, about a mile. Basically in the morning, what happens is we have about a third of the traffic is trying to access uh, Pastor Robles High School. And then the rest of it's trying to move through that area to get to the Highway 101. Some residents say it's so bad they avoid the road during those peak hours. I either go into town before lunch, after like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, or after three because it's just impossible. Well, I was always thought if we had an emergency and everybody had to get out of here and get to the freeway, boy, oh boy, that'd be tough. The city of Paso Robles is hoping to minimize the amount of time drivers are waiting in traffic. We could bus children to school, so get, get folks out of cars and get them in the buses uh, walking, riding their bikes. Uh, we could stagger uh, start and stop st times with schools. Um, you know, businesses could start earlier, businesses could start later. The city says another possibility is looking at the signal patterns. Niblick is a, is a tough road. Um, people try to find ways to not use it when it's crowded. And I, I think there's some positive things we can do with this road. This week, the city hired a consultant to do public outreach on the topic. It's all being paid for by a Caltrans grant. In Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. And the city wants to hear your feedback on solutions to improving Niblick Road. You can email or call. The city notices will also be sent out.